and I'm not playing favourites, Troy, so if you ever want to jump up, just jump up. Hey, you do well. um, I'll speak this way, sir. I, I, I think that this current parliament's been quite impressive, and uh, yeah, I, I find that this current parliament has been quite impressive with the amount of legislation, as, as Rob said, 610 pieces. <coughs> Uh, and I've heard him say before, much of it had, had hung around for decades in the too hard basket. It seems to me as, a, as an outsider, not being in the inside, that it's Rob and uh, uh, Tony Windsor and the Greens, etc., that have pushed Labor along in this, that uh, the structure of the parliament actually reflects the wishes and, 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 the, and the, the wishes of the public. What we're used to is is uh, serial, what I call serial dictatorship, where the, where the red team run for six years and then the blue team take over for six years. What we seem to have now is more a European-style parliament, as, as Rob said, where it's, there's lots of grey and discussion and, and that type of approach. So I, I'd just like to ask Rob's opinion on, on uh, proportional representation as it exists uh, in ACT and in Tasmania, New Zealand and most of uh, Europe. Um, I just like your 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 opinion. And is it is there any discussion in the corridors around? Um, okay. Um, to answer the last bit first, no, there isn't any discussion uh, about it. Um, there's been a few changes to electoral laws uh, over the last three years to basically try and. Uh, be more inclusive in the way uh, people uh, can vote um, to uh, you know to turn up without ID ID as ways you can do provisional voting and then prove it up later. Just a few technical issues, but nothing as fundamental as changing from the compulsory preferential to proportional representation. Personally, I actually like our federal model. Um, I like a lower house, people's house. Um, town greenhouse um, and balanced by the you know, it's a variation of proportional representation in the Senate um, and, and that there is this health in most cases healthy tension between the two I don't think the House of Reps is necessarily where if you're going to do reform um, it's start I do think there's Senate reform I, I worry about um, political party and we're seeing it with the Labor Party at the moment and you know a 30 something general secretary about to be dropped into a Senate seat potentially um, and just the implications of that for thinking and decision making um, and whether there's a better way um, to achieve more in getting that balance right. So look, I think the structures are pretty good friendly from my point of view. Um, I question whether state upper houses are necessary. Um, I don't see Queensland in a great bother compared to New South Wales or any other state, you know, um, and they haven't had a state upper house uh, for a long time. Um, some might argue right now, you know, an upper house may be of value, but I'm not sure whether the way state upper houses are played actually contributes. Um, Non-compulsory preferential actually has a lot of votes bleeding, and that is the way the state lower houses um, have their voting system. So you don't get, you don't necessarily get a true reflection of someone who is talking to the entire community. You, you just get someone who can get more than anyone else on a primary vote more often. Um, so I like compulsory preferential. I like the fact there's compulsory voting as well. Uh, that doesn't mean um, you have to fill in the form, you can write whatever you want on the form. It just means you've got to turn up once every three years and um, express your view. I would worry if we didn't have that in Australia. <laughs> and I would worry about the implications of that lack of, you know, lack of participation on decision making as a consequence. Um, so, but, you know, there's no perfect model, there's least imperfect models. And I think we're pretty close to we're pretty close to one of the best models going around, I think. Better than Zimbabwe. 
Conscious of Troy, because Ian's had two goes, here's a chance. I just want to jump up. I didn't really speak, um, but Ian already spoke about that as well. So I just want to two quick little things. First of all, my name is Troy Wilkie. I'm running for Palmer United. We're a brand new party. Didn't even exist ten weeks ago. I grew up in Port Macquarie. I'm very happy to come to any forum you have and answer any questions afterwards. My father, he Rob speak and he myself speak, so I'll do questions. You can come to me afterwards and very approachable. The second thing I'll say is, because we're here for the ABC, Palmer United has already pledged $150 million in extra funding every year to the ABC and $65 million every year to SBS because we see the value in public TV and public journalism. So that's the two things that I'll say. And any questions, you can come and see me afterwards. Thanks very much. Isn't that fun? <laughs>